the minute you fall. Yeah. I thought they had the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. What they say? Yeah. When they say that, that lets me know they know the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Because the Holy Ghost will keep you in check. Yeah. I don't care where you go, you're going to take the Holy Ghost with you. You ain't going to leave it home. I'm going to leave my Holy Ghost home today. No, you, ain't, no, you can't leave that. Because it's that indwelling spirit. It's down in your heart. I'm telling you, God, I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to tell you. I get so sick and tired and tired of people make a mockery of God. Make him look so weak. Make him look like he's a nobody. I'm here to tell you today, people, you better get right and get right now. If I won't run, I come right at this altar. And so, Lord, fix me, Lord. Amen. Fix me. Amen. We got a lot of this going on. I, I, I'm just doing what the Lord said. That's all right. You see, I'm an old preacher now, so I know how to do it. I'm not breaking the books, but I mean, I'm just going to learn how to let God do it. Let me fix it. Let, I learn how to let God do it. What you got to understand. You got to stop messing around with your soul. Amen. There's no need to come into church time after time. Singing the choir ain't going to get it. Amen. Working on the deacon boards. This is a good one right here. As soon as we get a Bible, here we go. I don't know what they think preaching is. Hmm, I know. Stick the chest out. No, God ain't called. God ain't called. Nobody ain't saved. No how. But this is what gets me. Just as soon as, as one of them fail, as soon as they fall, they take us all, put us all together. Well, that one fell, that means all of them fall. But look at your neighbor. I said, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I'm not like that. God did a work on me. God did a change. Because he was getting ready to do a great work for the Lord. 
The Bible says, and I'm just about through, y'all. Some of you probably think I'm going to go a long time. I'm going to put a period in it. But I want to make a point. This is the part I want y'all to really get. When Saul, God changed his life. Now he had went to Damascus to persecute the saints of God. But when the Lord got through with him, tells him when the Lord got through with me, I made a 180. I made a 180. Y'all just stood up and make a 180. I tell somebody I made a 180. He went there to persecute. But God, oh, I, I want to preach now. But God, y'all just do it. Turn, turn it around. Yeah, God, we turn it around. Say yes, say yes. That's why he said. I got some word for y'all. Lord, I feel the anointing. I feel his presence. I feel his quickening. Power. It's all over me. But I want to get this word out. I guess this is what you call a Caesar rain. Yeah! Second Corinthians. Five and seven. Mama, I didn't think I could do it. Second Corinthians. Five and seventeen. This is why Paul could write this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new. He's a new. Oh, y'all ain't saying it. No. For the old things. My past. Tell somebody my past. My past. My past. My past. My past. Yes, God. Things. They're gone now. It's over now. And behold, all things become new. Serious. Yes. So, in my conclusion today, this is evidence that God can take the worst of the worst. And make the best of the best. Say yeah. Say yeah. Marvin Sapp said it like this. He saw the best in me. The best in me. Where everyone else around me can only see the worst in me. God be the glory. Doesn't matter what I say. I say. My past is over now. Serious.